Hello and welcome to a 12 minute preview video of our IDML app for iPhone and iPad. This is an application which allows you to preview and edit text in InDesign IDML files on your iPhone and iPad. Today we'll be showing on a simulated iPad. Also the app has two versions, full version and light version. We will be showing the full version but I'll also tell you what the limitations of the light version are. Let us start the app. This is the first screen you will see when you start it. This is a list of documents on your device. Uh, the app comes with a pre-installed sample document which will always be there after you install. You might also already see several documents from your email in this list and you can also import the documents from Dropbox. Uh, this also shows documents from uh, imported from the iTunes. Let us open the sample document and you can see the big news in the version 2.0 is that now we show the actual layout. We show the layout preview of the IDML document. You can see that if the, uh, if the bitmap graphics are embedded in the documents, we show them in their place in the document. We also show the stories in their relevant text boxes, so you don't have to look for them in the list of stories. You can just browse through the layout and select the stories to be edited. Uh, we of course support multi-page documents so you can switch through the pages. You can also see them in the spread view like this. The page list can be hidden so you can dedicate the all, all of the space on your device to the actual layout. Uh, you can of course turn it back on. We can go to the next page. We can also preview little, little details here on this spread. Uh, you can see that we try to do the best possible job with uh, using character styles and displaying them as uh, as lifelike as we as we could on the device. Uh, we can we, we we display colors and we replace fonts used in your document by the closest possible font available on your iOS device. Uh, here you can see that we also display polygons, shapes created in InDesign. Uh, this IDML document. Uh, you can download from our website, you can review that in InDesign as well, so you can see what it looks like in InDesign and on on the iOS device. Uh, here you can see we used another another font from Ford replacement. Let's go to the first page where there are stories to be edited. Uh, in the first version you had to select the story which you wanted to edit in the story view, which we go through now, and you can see the list of stories on your right hand side showing story 1 to 10 with the first words of each story where you can select the story to be edited but now you can also go back to the layout view and you can double tap on the story directly in the layout to edit the text in it. Editing text is only available in the full version of the app light version only shows the preview of the layout. So now we're editing a second story in the document you can just place your cursor and start start typing. Uh, apart from typing you can insert special characters, you can apply character styles, you can apply paragraph styles. In the story view you also have tools for listing character and paragraph styles used in the document, fonts used in your document, swatches. After we type in the text we will be also able to select portions of it. You can also, of course modify any of the existing text apart from adding, adding new text to the document and you can select portions of the text and apply styles to them. Uh, now we've typed several words, added several words to our story and now we ran out of the keys we want to use on the keyboard. We need to use something which is not present there so we go to the insert character menu. Uh, we can select from symbols, hyphens, quotation marks, other special characters and spaces. In the symbols you can find bullet characters, copyright symbols, registered trademark symbols, all the symbols that are not available on the iPhone or iPad keyboard but you need to use them in your document. Uh, this The same goes for dashes. You don't want to be stuck with just minus or dash. You, you want to use m dash and n dash as well as different quotation mark types for different uses. Uh, from the other special characters you can choose tabs and even 
uh, characters for ending nested styles or indenting. Uh, in this case, we'll just insert a tab character into our text. So once you click outside of the menu, the menu disappears and you can see the tab is added to our text. Now we can select the word city and we'll apply a character style override to this word. So we select that, we go to the character style menu and select the character style called red text. Now we've applied that and if we go back to the layout preview, we will see the edit portion of the text, we will see the tab and we will also see that the word city is now displayed as red because this is the setting of the character style override for the red character, red text character style. To know what is in the styles we are assigning, we can also assign paragraph style to text. Uh, when, you, when you click on the paragraph style menu, you will see the currently assigned paragraph style as selected. In this case, it's a body text and we'll change it to caption paragraph style, which uses smaller font and sans font instead of the, the Georgia, Georgia font. Let's go to the layout preview. You can see that now the text occupies a lot less space in the in the box. So in case you need to add more space, you can use this to modify your text settings. The styles, however, need to be preset in the document. There is no way to create styles in the IDML app. You have to have them saved in the IDML from InDesign. Uh, you can display the styles saved in your document in the in the info panel. You can see the character styles used, the paragraph styles used, and you can also review the settings of these styles. So let us check the caption style we've just assigned to our text and you can see it uses Futura font, medium font style and it's nine points high. This is probably smaller than the, than the other styles. So let us go back and we'll check the settings for the body styles. Paragraph, uh, body text, paragraph style. And we see it's using Georgia font with the 11 points size. This is why it was bigger. So even though the layout preview of the font might not be exact, you still see the data of the font so you know what you're assigning. Now we can also see a list of fonts used in the document. The, uh, the fonts which are replaced on the iOS device by the closest available font. You can also list the swatches used in your document and you can also see the settings for these swatches. For example, this Pantone color, we want to check whether it's a spot color or a process color, which is very important for our document, of course. And now we see it's a spot color, so we have to pay a special attention to this file when, when exporting. We can also review the normal CMYK swatches. Their names are, of course, self-explanatory, but we can always double check whether the color value is uh, the same as the name of the swatch, whether there's no no problem. There will be in the next version list of links in the document and we will also try and do our best to include and display the linked images in the files, but this is for the next version. Upgrades are free, so no worries. We hope this will come very soon. In the story view, we can also hide the list of the stories, so if you're editing lots of text, nothing gets in your way. This is especially handy on the iPhone where the screen is, is uh, considerably smaller than, than the iPad. You can switch between the stories so you don't have to go back to the layout view. You can just switch between them and edit text or, or do text corrections, whatever you need to do. You can see this red dot character in one story. This represents a character which is not possible to display on the iPad. So we display a red character for you to know there is an invisible character in InDesign and you don't want to delete it. You don't want to compromise the the layout. Uh, let us go back to the layout view so we can review the changes we did to the story. You can also see that we use text wrap to some extent so, so you have idea of the of the layout. You can see the, the styles assigned. You can see that we use different kind of paragraph justifications and you can see that negative and positive text is displayed well in the in the sample document. Uh, this, uh, If we switch back to the story view, we can do that in the full version. Uh, if you have light version and want to 
edit the text, this will trigger the in-app purchase for the full version where you can decide whether you will pay the difference of price between the light and full version and upgrade or if you just want to use the light version for uh, reviewing the document layout. In the main documents view, you can also uh, manage your documents. You can uh, copy them because once you make edits to your IDML file, these are instantly saved. So you might want to make an extra copy. The files operations in the documents view are done via the edit button. Once you click on that, you select one or more documents you want to work with. So if you want to create a backup copy and work on this one, you select the document and click on the copy button. You can see we've created a sample copy file from the sample. We can click edit again, select the copy and click on the trash icon to delete the document. And once we click edit again and select the sample document again, we can click on the third button, which is export. You can uh, export to another application, send the document by email or export to your Dropbox, Dropbox app and to your Dropbox account. And the last button uh, is for reporting problems. This will send your document to us and you will have an, an opportunity to describe the nature of the problems you've encountered so we can use this document and fix and improve our application for the next update. We do delete everything from the uh, we receive right after we are done testing, so no worries about that. Thank you for your time and I hope you will love the app as we do.